The Blackhawks all season long choked, choked, choked. Then they, they then Patrick Kane wanted out. Now you hear they don't want to bring back ta- Thames back. Thames is gone. He is a free agent. Might retire. They wanted Connor Bedard. Every single. This was the Connor Bedard sweepstakes. And what did I tell everybody two weeks ago? I wouldn't be surprised if Chicago wins it. Why? Because the NHL loves them. They were part of the first six teams in the NHL. And the NHL has been giving these guys, shoveling these guys, superstars. Jonathan Thames was a top three pick. Patrick Kane was a top three pick. Connor Bedard is a top three pick. They keep helping this organization grow year in and year out. It wasn't enough that they won three Stanley Cups. And to me, the NHL has been an organization that's been run very well by Gary Bettman. As a matter of fact, he has been the best commissioner in sports. It's crazy to say that. Long Island native, Mr. Gary Bettman, who everybody boos, everybody can't stand. When you go to the draft, they boo him. Just like Goodell, this guy has standed tall. He has stood tall for the last couple of years, laughing. And you know what? For an organization like the Chicago Blackhawks, who I've always respected, and after that story came out last year about what they were doing behind closed doors, and I'm not going to say it again on live radio because it's absolutely despicable, and that's why Quinville. Quinvel should never get a job in the NHL again. He got one with Florida. He gets fired two, two years later. You cannot think that this organization is one of the best-run organizations in hockey. And to give them one of the best players since Connor McDavid out of the draft is absolutely despicable. They should be ashamed of themselves. I don't want to hear that it's, it's all about the luck of the draw. It's not. No. It is not. They they all said it was rigged. It is not. And again, there's other examples of it, too, in other big cities, too. And the Rangers Rangers got lucky from that, too. So did the Devils. And uh, the L.A. Kings have gotten a top three pick a lot of the time. They they love the big cities. You want to expand the game a little more, give somebody like Anaheim or Columbus, teams that haven't had the number one pick, this generational talent, a chance to be able to grow in that city. You want to be able to grow southern markets, midwestern markets that aren't as strong. Some of these other Canadian teams that are trying to rally back. I would have loved to see them give it to Phoenix. You know why? Because Phoenix has never been good. Or Columbus. Like, Columbus is a new team. Like, they've made the playoffs a few times. But, like, besides Rick Nash, who's that generational talent that they've had? Like, give them a shot. Like, they had the third best odds that they could get the third pick. It doesn't make any sense. It, it doesn't. Well, they, they, they said there was an article that came out saying that uh, on ESPN kind of um, almost, like, spoiled the, the pick or something. Or there was a whole bunch of rumors that it was, like, all rigged and this and that. It is rigged. So. It is rigged. I don't care what the NHL says. And I have a lot of respect for Gary Bettman. I don't boo him. I think he's a very good no, um, I, I, commissioner. Right on I think yep. he's a very good commissioner. But to sit here and say that it's not rigged, it is a pitiful way of showing I, the fans. I, I don't understand why they love Chicago so much. I don't get it. Because they're, really they're, it. they're, they're, I, a, I know they're original six. I understand that, but it just, I don't know that. I just don't understand the other part of it. Well, I, I think with the organization and what the organization has done year in and year, year out over the years, and remember Bobby Hull and, and, and yeah, those I type know. of teams, and even in the 80s and the 90s, the Chris Chelios is into Jeremy Roenix uh, and the Eddie Belfours when they were good in the 90s. This is, this is an organization that always had good players, has always been uh, a team that's been lucky in the draft for some reason. So, I, and that, I this, this is even, no, but, well, this, well, with this whole lottery thing, it happened a couple of years ago. But even when they stunk, they, it, it seemed to, uh, there seemed to be players that fall to them in the later first, first, first and second rounds. They always seem to find that star that falls into their lap. So I'm not happy about this. I think the NHL uh, has really made this a mockery, this whole lottery thing. And and Conor Conor Bedard, who I think is going to be a great player. I really do. I think he's going to be great. I don't know if he's going to be the best. Everybody keeps saying this guy's by far the best player. There's a lot of good. He's the next Conor McDavid type of player. He's not Conor McDavid. Conor McDavid, 6'3". That's what everyone is saying, the player type. He's not. He's not. You know what he is? He is a Panarin type of player. That's what he is. He's a guy that's going to give you 40 goals, 40 assists, 50 assists. He's got great talent. Maybe he could be a, an all-time 50-goal scorer. He could be a great goal scorer. But to say he's Connor McDavid is, is an absolute that's joke. That's what people are comparing It's a joke. To. It's not. He's not. He's, be- he's just as good as Sidney Crosby was. Connor McDavid is the best talent we've seen come out of the draft since Wayne Gretzky and Mario Lemieux. 